in this video we will be discussing about topological sort we will discuss about the algorithm implementation and its applications before proceeding with this algo you should have an understanding of basic graph concepts and dfs algorithm if you have some doubts on that please refer to the suggested videos on the top right corner now let's proceed with topological sort so topological sort is linear ordering of vertices such that for every directed edge uv vertex u comes before v in the ordering so if we are given a graph and there is an edge from u to v then in the topological sort of that graph u will come before v so that is the basic definition of what we mean by topological sort let's say we are given this graph and we have to find topological sort here we know there is a directed edge from A to B, then it is a directed edge from B to C, and then a directed edge from A to C. So this means that A should come before B, this means B should come before C, and A should come before C. So from this we can find out that topological sort of the graph will be A, B, C because it satisfies all these properties. So this was just to give an overview of how the topological sort works. We will discuss the algorithm in detail how you can actually find out topological sort for bigger graphs. An important property of topological sort is that it is only possible for a DAG or a directed acyclic graph. Directed because the definition itself says that we need a directed edge from U to V. But why acyclic? So let's take an example. So you see there is a cycle here. Let's try to find out if we can find the topological sort of this graph. So there is an edge from A to B. So this means that A should come before B, B should come before C, and C should come before A. So now from these three points, it is not possible to find the topological sort of a graph because this says that A should come before B and B should come before C. So if you write this, then it's well, it's the third property that C should come before A. So you cannot find any kind of ordering for this graph that satisfies the topological sort definition. Now we have seen that it is not possible for a graph that contains a cycle. So it is only possible for a directed acyclic graph. So now let's see the algorithm in detail. So there are two algorithms for the topological sort. We will see both the algorithms. First one is known as Kahan's algo. So Kahan is the name of the person who invented this algorithm. So this algorithm works on data structure Q. So let's see we have this data structure. Then we have a result array. So in this we'll store the topological sort. We have an in degree array. So in degree is the number of edges that are incident to a vertex. So here I've initialized in degree of all the vertices to zero. Algorithm first step is we have to find in degree of all the vertices. For 0, there is no edge incident to it, so the end degree is 0. For 1, there is 1 edge. For 3, 2 edges. For 2, also 2 edges are incident on it. And for 4, 1 edge is incident on it. So the end degree array will become 0, 1, 2, 2, 1. So this is the end degree array after finding out the end degree for all the vertices. Then it says pick vertices with end degree 0 and add them to the queue. So the first vertex has in degree 0, so we add 0 to the queue. Then while queue is not empty, so queue is not empty, it has element 0 on it. We check the first element of the queue and we pop it from the queue. So v becomes 0 and we have popped it. Append v to the result, so this is the result. We append 0 to the result. And for each adjacent vertex in v, so v was 0 adjacent vertices are 1 and 2 for each adjacent vertex we decrement the in degree so for 1 we decrement the in degree to 0 and for 2 we decrement the in degree to 1 and if in degree of the adjacent vertex is now 0 we push it in the queue so now we know vertex 1 has in degree 0 so we'll push it into the queue so after this it again comes here while queue is not empty we check the first element of the queue and pop it. So we pop 1. 
and we append 1 to the result. For each adjacent vertex in V, so adjacent vertices of 1 are 2 and 3. So we decrement it. So let's say we start with this. We decrement it. We check if in degree is 0. In degree is not 0. It is 1. So we leave this step. Then we come to the next adjacent vertex. Next adjacent vertex for 1 was 2. We decrement its in degree. If in degree is now 0, we push it. So we push 2 in the queue. We again come here while queue is not empty. Front of the queue is 2. And we append it to the result. For each adjacent vertex in V. So adjacent vertices are 3 and 4. We decrement the in degree. So we decrement it to 0. And if in degree is 0, we push in, in the queue. So we push 3 in the queue. Then we check for the next adjacent vertex. Next adjacent vertex are 4. So 4 has in degree of 1. We decrement it. If it is 0 now, we push it. So we push 4 in the queue. Then we again come here while queue is not empty. We check front of the queue. It is 3. We append it to the result. For each adjacent vertex, no adjacent vertex is left. So we again come here while queue is not empty. First element is 4. We dequeue it and we append it to the result. So the topological sort that we got is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we see here, there is an edge from 0 to 1 and 0 to 2. Then 1 to 2 and 1 to 3. Then 2 to 3 and 2 to 4. You will see all these properties are satisfied by this. So it means 0 should come before 1 and 2. So 0 is coming before 1 and 2. 1 should come before 2 and 3. 1 is coming before 2 and 3. And 2 should come before 3 and 4. And 2 is coming before 3 and 4. So this is the topological sort that we got from Kahan's algorithm. So this algorithm can also find out that if topological sort is possible for a given graph or not. So if the result array size, so the result array we have got here, it has five elements. If it is not equal to the number of vertices, then we can conclude that topological sort is not possible for this graph. It contains a cycle. So we are given this graph that contains a cycle. And the first step of the Kahan's algo says we have to find in degree of all vertices. So zero has in degree of one, one has in degree of one, and two also has in degree of one. Now it says pick vertices with in degree 0 and add them to the queue. So there is no vertex with in degree of 0. So we will not add anything and queue remains empty. Queue is empty so we can skip this while loop. Then it checks if result size is not equal to V. So result is also empty because we have not added anything. So result size is not equal to V. So we can conclude that topological sort is not possible for this graph because the cycle exists. Now let's have a look at the second algorithm for finding topological sort. So this algorithm is a modified version of DFS. If you have some doubts on DFS, you can refer to my another video which I made. So the data structures that are used in this algorithm are the result array. So here we'll be storing the topological sort. And the second is the visited array. So that keeps tracks of the nodes that we have visited. So initially all of them are zero. So the algorithm uses recursion as it is used in DFS also. So the first step is, so we have a function topological sort in which we pass the start vertex. So here the start vertex does not matter. We can choose any vertex as the start vertex. Let's say we choose zero as the start vertex. So the vertex that we choose, we have to mark it as listed. So we mark zero as listed. Then for each adjacent vertex of V, if that is not listed, we have to call the topological sort function. So when we start with 0, the adjacent vertices are 1 and 2. So both of them are not listed. So we have to call topological sort for both of these. So I will try to explain this algorithm by using recursion tree. So in a pictorial form, it is more easier to understand. So we started with 0. So let's say I called topological sort 0. We mark 0 as listed and for each adjacent vertex of V, we call the topological sort function. So let's say we start with 1. So I call the topological sort of 1. 
so here you can see the recursion app is happening the function is calling itself so when we pass one here we have to mark one as listed and the adjacent vertices of one we have to call the topological sort function so for one the adjacent vertices are three and two so let's say we start with three so three comes here we mark three as listed and for each adjacent vertex of three so three has no adjacent vertex so it will end here so once it ends here we have to append v to the result so we append 3 to the result so once it ends we have to backtrack so this is backtracking now we come to topological sort of 1 so 1 had 2 adjacent vertices 3 and 2 3 we have already finished so now 2 comes so we'll call it topological sort for 2 so when topological sort of 2 is called 2 will mark as listed and adjacent vertices of 2 are 3 and 4. So 3 is already visited, so we'll call topological sort for 4. When we call it for 4, we'll mark 4 as listed. We check adjacent vertices of 4, so 4 has no adjacent vertex. And at the end is append v to the result. So we append 4 to the result. And this completes the function call for 4, so we backtrack. We come at topological sort of 2. So 2 had two functions 3 and 4. So 3 was already visited and 4 we have visited now. This is also complete. So we mark 2 as listed and we backtrack. Now we come at 1. Adjacent vertices of 1 were 2 and 3. Both 2 and 3 are visited and they are done. So 1 is finished. We append 1 to the result and we backtrack from 1. We come at 0. So all the adjacent vertices of 0 are done. So we backtrack from here. So now this function is done. After this function, the result we are getting is this. And the last step of the algorithm is we have to print this in reverse. If we write this in reverse, we'll get 0, 1, 2, 4, 3. So this will be our topological sort. So we can also see if it satisfies the properties of the topological sort. Edges that we have are 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 2 to 3, and 2 to 4. We can see 0 is before 1 and 2. 1 should be before 2 and 3. 1 is before 2 and 1 is before 3. And 2 should be before 3 and 4. 2 is before 3 and 4. So by using a modified version of DFS, we can find out topological sort. So here I've taken a vector result and I've printed the result in reverse. So there is another version of this algorithm which uses stack. So the advantage of using stack is you don't have to print it in reverse. You just have to pop it and then the result will be printed. So you can use any of the methods either print the array in reverse or you can use a stack. But the basic algorithm remains the same. Now let's see what are the applications of topological sort. So one of the most important application of topological sort is in operating systems. So operating systems use this to schedule the jobs. So if we take an example, let's say we have two programs, P1 and P2, which are dependent on a few number of resources. Now the job of the operating system is to schedule these programs when the resources are met. So these resources can be printer or a mouse or a keyboard or any hardware or other resources that are required for this program to run. Now operating system can schedule this job only when all the resources that are required by it are met. So operating system uses topological sort to check when all the dependencies of a particular programs are met, only then it schedules that programs. Another example is Maven dependency resolution. So in Maven build systems, we specify the dependencies in pom.xml. So let's say we have specified A is dependent on B, B is dependent on C and A is dependent on C and B is dependent on D. In POM we define the dependencies of all the modules. So the build system has to correctly identify which of the module it should build first. So Maven also relies on the topological sort to identify the correct order of building the modules. A third example can be found in the database. So we have foreign key concept in which we identify a primary key of a table which has to be used in some other table. 
so if we are going to build this database then the dependent tables have to be built only after the main tables are built so to correctly identify this order also topological sort is used now in spring also bean creation order is identified using topological sort so topological sort have variety of applications wherever you have to schedule a job or you have to find a correct order of running topological sort is used so once we have seen both the algorithms and also seen the applications of it let's jump into the code of topological sort we'll see the code for both the algorithms we have discussed so let's first see the code for kahan's algorithm so i've taken the same example that we have discussed so size of the graph is 5 there are 5 vertices add edge function is there which adds an edge from u to v so u is 0 here v is 1 so all the edges are added here 0 to 1 0 to 2 1 to 2 and all like that once the graph is initialized i pass it to the topological sort function so in this topological sort i have a vector result in which we'll store the result a q and an in degree vector so first i I iterate through the graph and calculate in degree for all the vertices then i check this in degree array and find out which of the nodes have in degree of zero and i then push them in the queue while queue is not empty i pick the first element from the queue and i append it to the result then i check the adjacent vertices for the popped out node and i decrement the in degree for them and i check that if in degree is zero then i push it into the queue so i keep doing this until q is not empty so at the end of it the topological sort will be stored in result so i get it back in this vector and here i check that if the size of this vector is equal to the size of the graph if it is not then the topological sort is not possible maybe there is a cycle in the graph and if it is equal to the size then i print the topological sort so let's see what is the output of this so the output is 0 1 2 3 4 which we have discussed so now let's see the second algorithm using dfs so this step is same i have initialized the graph so here only thing is different is i have created a visited array in which i initialize all the nodes initially to false so in this function topological sort i pass graph visited array a result array and zero so zero is a start node so it does not matter which node to start from you just have to pass one start node so in this topological sort function mark this node as visited and i check the adjacent vertices of these nodes the nodes which are not visited i call this topological sort function recursively again for them and once this loop ends i append that vertex in the result node so when all the nodes are iterated we'll come back here so here I am printing the result array in reverse. So we can also take a stack here, but for simplicity, I have just taken a vector and printed it in reverse. So if we check the time complexity of both the algorithms, so it is same, it is order of V plus E, so which can be thought of as order of max of V comma E. That is because we are iterating all the edges and vertices only once in both the algorithms. So time complexity remains the same, which is order of V plus E. So the code that I have explained is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is in the description. So this was all about topological sort. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comment box below. If you like my content, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.